Yo, what's good everyone? Nick Smith is back. We're up in the NBA draft, which is pretty cool. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited. And hopefully, I really hope that the mic actually records. Because, like, you guys have, you guys know that the last couple of, um, the last couple of episodes, the mic has just not been working. It just cuts out and it's kind of annoying. But, uh, I guess this might be your first glance at the new uniforms. And they are pretty dope. I mean, look at these new uniforms right here. I'm, I'm proud, right? I'm proud of the new uniforms. And number one, um, so one guy was telling me that I challenged Miles Turner's number. I didn't even know that I changed Miles Turner's number. So let's let's change it back to how it was. And to be honest, I don't even know what, I don't even know what his number is. So I'm gonna have to go on my phone right now. Type out what is Miles Turner's number right here. So Miles Turner, he rocks number 33. I don't know why he he's wearing number two. Um, so let me change it back to 30. No, who has 33? Who has 33? Danny Grange has 33. That's why he was... Alright, okay. So l let me change Danny Grange's... No and look at those new uniforms. They're going to look dope when I play with them. I can't wait to play with them. Um, but yeah, Danny Granger. We'll give Danny Granger number 32. And then the boy Miles Turner... He can go back to 33. All right, we'll do that. Because, you know, Miles Turner, he wears number 33. It's disrespectful, as Stephen A. Smith would say, to not give him his real number. So, uh, yeah, he can go back to number 33. It only took me a goddamn year to realize it, but uh, he's uh, he's a 33 now. All right, so we're in a bit of a dilemma. We're a little bit of Would I like to speak some English? We're in a little bit of a dilemma right now because we got Derrick Rose... Kenneth Reed, all right. These guys soak up our cap space like crazy. And the guys that are going into the draft, I'm mean, into a free agency. They're good. Like this year is probably one of the best years in free agency in a long time, um, because in 2K in 2016, I reckon majority of the teams are going to sign their players. They're going to sign, you know, uh, Kevin Durant. And they're going to sign all these guys. And so, if I go to, uh... Is, can I go to free agents? Uh... I don't even know if I can. Where, okay, where, where, where do I go right now? Pretty much. All I'm trying to say is that we have guys like Drummond, DeRozan, Dwight Howard. Um... We have LeBron... We've got, you know, Dwayne Wade, Hassan Weiss, and all these good plays in free agency. And if I want to get any one of those guys, i got to trade Kenneth or D. Rose. So, at the start, once I trade Kenneth, because I'm definitely going to trade Kenneth. I've already kind of made it up in my mind. Let's let's hop into the draft right now. Um, I've already made it, made it up in my mind that I'm going to trade Kenneth for Reed. So, once I do... I don't want you guys in the comment section to be like, that was the stupidest trade ever. Because what I want to do is free up cat space for free agency. Not make the best trade on draft night to get a good draft pick, if you know what I'm trying to say. So you, you'll see what I'm trying to do once we hop into free agency. Um, but what, what, what pick do we have right here? We've got 13 and 26. Okay, so let's see what we can work with right now. We'll see what we can get for Kenneth for Reed. And, uh, I'm glad my PS4 just suddenly just went quiet. Like, I don't know if you were hearing that before, but it was super loud. It's got a little bit quiet right now. So we can get pick 18. And to be honest, is that a bad pick? Pick 18? And so pretty much we get pick 18 and we free up 38 million for three years. Honestly, this is a kind of trade I want to go for. But maybe... Because if I get pick 18, and I pair that pick up with pick 13 and pick 20, I, I reckon I can get a pretty good pick, parent teaming up, you know, the, all, all those picks. So, I'll, I'll keep looking. i have a look at what I can get for D-Rose right here as well. Um, but I, I do like Derrick Rose. We can get Mike Conley, though. I mean, if we're looking at cap space, this isn't bad. This is not bad at all. 9, 10, so he's around $10 million a year. He's a decent shooter, better than Derrick Rose. He, he doesn't attack the hoop as well as Derrick Rose. 
His passing is probably better than D Rose, and his defense is definitely better than Derrick Rose. His you know athleticism isn't as good, but it's not even that bad. Mike Conley, I could go after. Then I could go after a young player like Justice Winslow out of the Miami Heat. Um, or Tobias Harris, who's also on a pretty big contract, though. Um, the, the, the thing is, if I go after like somebody like Mike Conley, right? You know, I love playing with Derrick Rose. Like, I love playing with Derrick Rose. It's just his salary is huge. You know what? I might trade. How about I trade? For, I trade him, and then I get him a couple of years from now, or even just next year once free agency is done. Because if I want to be good, I got to sacrifice getting rid of Derrick Rose, unfortunately. Well, first I'll, I'll just trade Kenneth Farid. First I'll trade Kenneth Farid. All right, that's probably the main thing. Pick 19 and KJ McDaniel's. That's better than the pick that... I mean, I can get Kelly Oubre, but he's, you know, 69 overall, not as good. But I get... I think I'll take this trade right here. We get a we get a decent player in KJ McDaniels. He's not that bad. Like, I like KJ McDaniels. Um, he can shoot the three a little bit. He's a great defensive player, and he's very athletic. 80 driving dunk. Um, you know, on-ball defense is at a 70, which I think is a little underrated, but his block is at 81 for a shooting guard, a 6'6 six six shooting guard with an 84 shot contest, 88 speed for a shooting guard, and pick 19. Yeah, I like Kenneth, but he averaged 12 points, 9.5 rebounds, which is still good. It's almost it's almost averaging a double-double, but he just lacks in uh, a guy that almost averages a double-double. Should not be worth this much, right? If you know what I mean? Like, I can get a player that almost averages a double-double for a lot less than that. In fact, I probably can have I probably have one on this team. Jordan Hill. Um what does he average? Seven points and nine point five rebounds. So he, he averages the rebounding aspect. Um not as not as high in the points, but he he, he definitely can, I think, if I improve him. Um, cause he did, he has done it before. Like he averaged, he averaged 12 points right there, almost 10 right there. Um, it's just a minute, I guess it's a minute thing. Um, but all I'm trying to say is a guy that almost averages a double, double isn't worth this contract. So he's gone from Denver to, uh, to Indiana and now to Charlotte. There you go right there. So now well, we have pick 13, pick 19 and pick 26. I want to see if we, you know, can, can join the, these picks up together. See what we can get. Not great. Avery Bradley, you know, I'd rather hold on to uh, to these. But how about D-Rose pick 19 and 13? Justice Winslow. As a Heat fan, I like Justice Winslow, but... Wow. 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 See, this... Pick 16, pick 10. I gotta look at the picks. This is pretty crazy right here. Eric Bledsoe. And pick 9. Surely I have to take this trade right here. And why do I like Derrick Rose? Because of his athleticism. Eric Bledsoe has that athletic ability like Derrick Rose he can shoot a lot better than Derrick Rose his you know layup is 80 but it should be higher they underrated his dunk they underestimated his dunking ability and when you talk about a guy that just went out with injury you talk about D Rose having leg injuries Eric Bledsoe he got a leg injury right now on ball defense is at an 87 I, I, I have to take this trade. I have to take... I Like, I don't understand. Contract's better. Player is better in this My GM series. And the reason why I like Derrick Rose is because I can play well with him. But I can play well with Eric Bledsoe. Because he pretty much does the same things, but better. If you know what I mean. 
Uh, I don't want to give up George Hill, that's the thing. Yeah, I I'll just take the original... Actually, what if I just gave... What if I did this? Okay. I'll just take the original trade. Eric Bledsoe for D-Rose. We give up three first-round picks, but we acquire pick nine in this draft. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take that, all right? I'll take that. It's... To me, I reckon this draft has been a success. We will see what Eric Bledsoe is worth just because I want to have a look. And I'm definitely happy I got Eric Bledsoe. Unless we... Unless... Pick nine and Eric Bledsoe gives us pick number six. Oh man. But mm, I mean I'll th what about James Young and this? If I can get pick eight or even better, I will do that. Pick thirteen, pick eleven, pick eighteen. I know there are some pretty good trade offers, but I'll just see... I know that Ben Simmons is going to go first. Like, he has to go first. He's going to go to the Toronto Raptors, especially because they might be losing DeMar DeRozan. He can fill in for that DeMar DeRozan. He's a small forward, power forward, even though some people think he's a power forward, small forward. They take Scout Labrissi. Yeah, what the... Okay. So maybe I go after the second pick. Yo, if I can get Ben Simmons... That'd be insane. Should I propose a trade? Should I propose a trade? I don't know, man. I don't know. Eric Bledsoe for Ben Simmons. Would I do that? Because you got to realize, Ben Simmons is an 80 overall. And he's only like 18 or 19 years old. But... I could probably do this trade and he'll go through. But what if he falls... What if he falls to number 3? Or something. I know he's not. But I don't know, man. I just... I'm not going to get Ben Simmons. You know, it, it's kind of pointless even me trying to go after Ben Simmons. So, I'll just see who goes. There he is, Ben Simmons. I knew he was going to go somewhere. The reason why I love him so much... Number one, he's Australian. Number two, he's a beast. And he's a 79, so pretty much an 80 overall. And he's 19 years old. That's just crazy. But next year, we're going to get Thonmaker. In, like, in the draft. Like, in 2017, Thonmaker is eligible to go in the draft. So, that's pretty crazy. Um, I hope you don't take... Uh, I want a Jalen Brown. But uh, I guess we'll keep simming, we'll keep uh, simming through the draft. See who goes where. Brandon Ingram out of Duke. I mean, I, I like Brandon Ingram. Diamond Stone. Dragon Bender. And now, who's making a trade? The 76 to trade Dragon Bender for pick 7. And that guy... Okay. Cool. Um, look how many draft picks the 76ers have. God damn. Did you guys see that? They got six, seven. Oh, wow. We got 20 trade offers? Wow. They got six, seven, 11. That's pretty crazy. Um, all right. I'll see, I'll see who's up on the board and who people want us to buy. Uh, one of the oldest gold buddy, Henry Ellenson. Never heard of that guy. Check Diallo. I heard of this guy. I don't know how to say his name, but I heard I heard of him. Check Diallo. Um, I think he's out of. He, where is he from? I heard of him before. It's one of the big market um, colleges. I know that. Nigel Hayes. So pretty much, they're all telling me I should go after a power forward. All of them want me to go after a power forward. And, I mean, you can understand why. We traded Kenneth Fareed. So, it's time to go after a power forward. Um, so, Henry Ellison. We'll take a look at this guy. He's a 72 overall. Um, he's a, he, he can stretch the floor a little bit. Um, I, I want, what do I need? What do I need? What do I need? Team needs right here. So, I do need, I do need a power forward. And people were telling me if I switch Miles Turner's position up to a uh, to a power forward, he goes up in overall. But I kind of want him to be a center because that's where he plays in real life. Um, so I'm I'm sorry if this episode goes on for a long time as well. I apologize, um, but I do want to make this 100% uh, awesome for you guys. If that makes any sense, Demetrius Jackson. We just got a point guard, so not looking at him. Damian Jones, he is a center. We don't need a center. So, yeah. 
Where is he from? I know he's from a big market, t a big market school. <sighs> Duke, I think. Kansas. That's right, Kansas. Yeah. Um. All right. So he's not a great offensive player. He he's he's he has a good inside presence. Seventy-seven close. Um. Standing laps to seventy-eight, which is decent. Seventy-five standing dunk. Rebounding eighty. 77, so pretty much both 80, which is good for a, for a rookie. That's pretty good. Um, block is at a 74, and the shot contest is at an 88. Hustle is at a 99. This guy might be the guy to go for. Um, because he's a big man that can really put in that work, and we need a big man. And what's he rated? 72, 72, 74. Wow. Demetrius Jackson is rated a 74. Uh, but um, we don't really 88 driving down though. Whew. You know, you know I love my point guards that can throw it down. But we just acquired Eric Bledsoe, so I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the guy. I can't even say his name right. Check Diallo. Check Diallo. I don't know, but let me take this guy right here. Welcome to the Indiana Pacers, buddy. Welcome to the Indiana Pacers. We're gonna team him up with a few guys. And uh, as of now, he's starting, I guess, but you never know in free agency. Uh, yeah, you never know in free agency. All right. Now, Monte Ellis gets traded again. This guy just keeps getting traded. He went from uh, someone's home. I'll be back. All right, I'm back. I don't even know where I was up to, what I was doing. Um, but I'll get rid of this second. No, this was found for a second round pick. Right. Well, pretty much I don't really need to make any trades, I guess. Um, I mean, Young, McDaniels. Maybe I'll get rid of Young because i got George Hill and Eric Bledsoe. So I don't really need a third string point guard that might complain. But if I don't get anything for him, then I'll, I'll just keep him. I, I mean, I'll just keep him. I'll, I'll keep Young. Um, I can get pick 24 though um, To be honest pick 24 might be worth Nah, I'll just keep young. He's an Indiana Pacer guy. I'll keep young You know, I kept a lot of Indiana Pacer guys when I think about it. I kept Paul George CJ Miles, George Hill, Miles Turner, Je uh, Joseph Young and Rakeem Christmas That's pretty solid for me because you know, I like to make trades trades trade 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 But I kept I kept all these guys. The only guys that I got is KJ McDaniels in this draft and Eric Bledsoe. That's solid for me. That is solid. And I've got to put some accessories on Eric Bledsoe and make him look cooler. But uh, those jerseys, man, I'm happy with the jerseys I made. Let's sim to the end because we don't need to uh, make, we don't need to make any more trades. I'm happy with that. We lost Kenneth D Rose, acquired a, a nice power forward in Czech Diallo, whatever his name is, and Eric Bledsoe. I'm happy with that. I'm I'm a hundred percent happy with that, and it does give us cat. It does give us cat space to sign a good free agent. Um, and look at Ben Simmons. This man is just a he's a monster. Nineteen years old. Jalen Brown. I like Jalen Brown as well. Very athletic. Um, but in this game, not too athletic actually. Um, and where's our guy? Where's our guy? He is what? What pick? Nine pick. We got the ninth. 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 Right here. 72 overall. So, I'll take that. And where did he drop to? No way. No way, wait. Hold up, hold up. Check the yellow. Demi he dropped all the way down to 13th. Demetrius Jackson dropped down to 13th. So, we actually traded this pick to the Phoenix Sun. So, we gave him Demetrius Jackson. They gave us Check the yellow. But then they also, the Suns also got from us um, Malik Pope. So I don't know what he does. He might be pretty good. And they also got Tyler Eulis from us as well, pretty much. But we got we got uh, Eric Bledsoe and, and the, the boy, the boy, check the hour. I don't even know if I'm, comment down below if I'm saying his name right, because honestly, I don't know. I'm going to have to do some research. But I, it, he sounds like he, he has like a French name. I don't know, I don't know. But um, how do I... Alright. Rookie signings. Gimme this guy. 
I love this guy. Like I like his name. I like his arm sleeves. I like this guy seems pretty cool. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button. Comment down below what you thought of me acquiring Eric Bledsoe, trading Kenneth, but getting Czech Diallo, which means now if we go to the player contracts, we got Paul George, you know, obviously on a pretty big contract. But then we got Eric Bledsoe, who's more than Kenneth, but when you combine Kenneth and Derek Rose together, he's, a, he's pretty cheap. Which means once you combine Kenneth and D. Rose, now you can get Eric Bledsoe and Hassan, or Eric Bledsoe and Damar, or Eric Bledsoe and Dwight, or someone of that nature in, the, in free agency. Eric Bledsoe or Drummond, I don't know. So we're going to get a big three, hopefully, in the free agency. Um, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.